Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode 16. Last time we went to Deep Nest. A fun little journey to Deep Nest and we went all the way through to the distant village and into the den of beasts, the beast's den, I think. Hurrah the beast was the first dreamer uh, that we've... Uh, I was about to say taken on, but we didn't really take them on at all. We just infiltrated their dream and <laughs> wiped them out. Uh, and it broke one of the seals on the vault up in the Forgotten Crossroads, which are now the infected uh, crossroads. We are spreading the in infection with our actions, which is pretty crazy. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go back into Deep Nest and we're gonna find this thing right here. Now, last episode we discovered what looks like, um, what looked to be a, a clone, essentially. I mean, that's the only way I can really kind of explain it. It was a person that looked exactly like us. Um, not a single difference from what I could see as the exact same shape of me so I don't know what we're doing there but we're gonna see if we can figure out how to get to it because we just proceeded with our journey through deepness last time but we made a mental note to come back and I think something that would also be a good idea while we're down there is we do have the tram pass now from the failed tramway so we can also take this tram here to uh, this location, which I believe is the uh, Ancient Basin, if I re am remembering correctly. I'm pretty sure it's the Ancient Basin. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. And then there is also the matter of uh, this part of the map, uh, which we discussed at the end of last episode, which is potentially entering this location here and finding our um our second of the dreamers so that is that is the current plan but as always with every with every plan there is definitely some you know a possibility that it might not go to plan and there's always things changing depending on what we discover um along the way you know always things changing I think what's good about, you know, sometimes choosing a destination that's a bit, a bit further away is it does give you the opportunity to kind of warm up a little bit. You can kind of refresh yourself on the movement and the combat and the something that I always forget, which um, you can never do like, you can't do an attack, I think, until you're at the end of your dash. Yeah, sometimes I... There's part of me that my brain goes, you can dash and attack immediately, but I always end up dashing into an enemy. We do have the dash slash. We do also have uh, the charm. Uh, there is a charm here. If I can remember the shape of it, which one it was. Um, this one, the Nail Master's Glory, which we have equipped. It allows us to focus our power faster and unleash arts sooner as well. It's not bad. Dash slash, for example. I'm not very good with the nail arts because I haven't given myself the opportunity to be. I haven't utilized them too much because uh, I, I sort of panic in, in combat when it, when it gets stressful and there's like that part of me that's like, I want to do it, but <laughs> I'm like, I can't focus right now, and I just kind of have to frantically, you know, just hit like normal. But maybe one day we'll actually be good enough for um, nail arts and keeping our cool while doing so. Now, let's take a look. We've still got quite a bit of ways to drop down. Before we actually get to what we want. But 
I do have to remember the pain and suffering of this place. A little bit. <laughs> ah, shit. If you just run, you won't take any damage, right? Close to where we need to be. Okay, we're close to where we need to be. Now, let's see if we can... It was like down here. So we have to... We're going to have to poke around here. Let's see if we can find what we were looking for. Okay, I've put... Hmm. Now, I can't remember the exact spot. I can't remember the exact spot that I put the... Where it was. Because I just kind of put the pin in an approximate location. But it was... I'm pretty sure it was definitely around here. Now, I just have to kind of look around until I see it. Whoa! Oh! Oh! That is spikes. Okay. Uh, that's a big drop down. Hmm. Is it no longer? Is it no longer there? Maybe if you leave the area, it actually disappears. Maybe we should have done it while we were here the first time. remember it being, I could see it on the left, like a left angle, I think. Oh, wow. I didn't take damage there. Crazy. Um. was definitely further down. Well, now I'm not seeing... Now I'm not seeing this guy at all. He's real. I did hallucinate him, I promise. I feel like it was here, and I saw him standing in there last time. Excuse me, but if that's the case, we've been in there, and it's not too hard to get in there, so how did I miss him the first time? You know what I mean? Like, that's here. And then this just goes down... ...to there. And then you're here. And you're in the hot springs. And then this just goes to the tram. I don't know then. Hmm. I don't think I imagined it. He was definitely there. He's real. Uh, he's not there anymore, I think. Hmm. Great. So for the first uh, part of this uh, video, this is just you watching me hallucinate. Um, so that's fun, I suppose. Okay, guys, he's real, I, I promise you. All right, well, I'll stop, I'll stop the hallucination, uh, journey, and we will go to the tram. Um, yeah, maybe once, it, it might be a thing that maybe once you've, like, made a certain amount of, um, uh, progress, especially in, oh god. Especially in Deep Nest, maybe it just doesn't apply anymore. Um, which would, would kind of make sense. Like, things change in the world, like the crossroads are now infected. Alright. Let's insert the tram pass.
Ooh, it lights up. I like that our, uh, our first tram that we're taking is not even the first one we discover. It's like the one that's all the way down here. But it was on the it was on the way. Ha. Huh. So this is similar to the save bench in Queen's Garden when the speaker um, dropped down. It plays like the save or the resting music, but through a speaker. How weird is that? And then if you destroy the speakers, the music stops. <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. All right, let's rest on the bench. Press the glowing button. Let us traverse. Taking our first trip on public transport. Ah, and you can see that you can go what happens if we press the button again? Now that we're here. Ooh, so this is the tram stop. If I, I don't have the map, so it won't update the map. So never mind. Uh, I suppose I need to find Cornifer down here. And I don't know where we've actually explored or not explored down here before, for obvious reasons, as we do not have the map. Um... I remember being here specifically though, because I remember the way there's there's a way down and this is the way we came in. And then there was a floor entrance. So we have poked around here before. And there's whatever that is. Yeah, we are in the ancient basin. Um, it's got like the crown symbol. <gasps> I hear Conifer. Oh my god. Hello. Hunter. If only I knew that it was this easy last time we popped into Ancient Basin, I might already have the map from you. There you go. Just literally dropped in. Old caverns, these ones. Can't you just feel the weight of the kingdom above? It's a heavy thing, all right. I reckon not many would reach these depths. We're pioneers, you and I, at least in recent history. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that is why there was still a button on that side of the tram. This tram continues. We can go somewhere else. There's a save bench and there are the palace grounds. That's what that symbol on the sign is. You can see the wreckage of, you can see part of what was on that sign there without the crown. Palace grounds. Okay. And then the tram continues to an unbeknownst location. All right. And then that was somewhere that we couldn't go yet. So we'll have to figure that out now that we've got the map. That's good. Thank you, Cornifer. He just says the same stuff as, yeah, every time. It's a long trek back to the shop from here. I'll be resting my legs a little longer. Not too long, though. Won't, <laughs> it won't do to have a Zelda worrying after me. God, we really must not have poked around an ancient basin must much at all if I couldn't even bring myself to, um... God damn it. If I couldn't even bring myself to find Cornifer. These spots are killing me, man. Me who just wants the ability to jump higher. Ah, yes, pay for bench. That's why it's gray on the map. Gotta pay the bench toll. Ah, thank you. Big old super dash, goddamn. This is a journey, Whoa! money. I no longer have um, Scattering Swarm, so we just lost a bunch of uh, Geo because I forget that I took it off because I don't have a real huge need for Geo right now. <laughs> I think, I, again, as I was saying last time, which means I might go back to the bench that we've just gone by, I need to change some charms around anyway. So, there you go. Wasted Geo for nothing. I'm going to take that off and that off for now, because look, I'm not very good at nail arts. I'd like to be, um, 
but we're in uncharted territory, so I want to. I'll probably go to a place that I'm more comfortable in to practice nail arts. So we're going to go with uh, my soul catcher instead because it's invaluable, especially when I'm in dangerous and new locations I haven't been to before. And I need health usually when I make a bunch of mistakes in uncharted territory. Soul Catcher is the best. It's one of the earliest charms you get too, right? I can't even remember how we got it, but it's incredible. Getting the feeling that maybe I should be in this spot when I can actually get to higher surfaces, because this is, this is rude. Sometimes you're just walking through areas and you're just like, yep, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be here yet because I'm missing you know, excellent traversal abilities. Oh, I was about to just hug, I was about to hug the wall because I usually I cautiously hug the wall. If I had eyeballs, I'd probably be able to see that there's spikes involved. Whoa. Oh, these are like the, um, the red orange versions of the little blue ones. A single celled organism completely infected scurries about simple mindedly. Simple-minded light seed. Um, what am I thinking about? The uh, the little cocoon bugs. That are very hard to get to. There. Ah, life seed. Life seed and light seed. There you go. So they are similar. In by in by name only. I wish that there was an option to maybe uh, either scroll a bit faster. Or, you know, just skip skip through, like you just, um, sometimes when you're in a scrolling scenario, you can press like, like right trigger or left trigger and it will like skip a few. Life seed and light seed, there you go. And they've scurried off. I guess we follow the source of light. Where are we? See a bit of like, so oh. Oh God. What are these called again? I've taken on one of these before, right? Nice. <laughs> I think that's a, no, that's a different one. Oh, we're taking on a brooding one. That was just a more lurk. Okay. Large mobile creature wildly spits venom when intruders pass by. Yes, this one was much easier than the brooding one, which is just going crazy on you. Close. Almost spiked it. Oh, that wall is interesting. The detail that if you slide down it because there's gaps, your character briefly is just like, ooh. Hang on. I can go in here. Yes, no, maybe. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta kill you for my hunter's journal. Oh god, there's an Oh. Oh my. Jesus. Okay. And you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not. I was like, maybe I could, no. You know, maybe not every enemy has to be dealt with. I just narrowly avoided some of those. <laughs> just like millimeters. Oh shit, dude. I don't even know why I panicked. Easy. Okay, this is kind of hell though. God 
damn. Oh, okay. That's new. Sometimes you don't get the icon that things get added to the journal like that, but then you know that you've never killed one of those before. Infected balloon. A single cell of infection has a simple mind that can float using internal gases. And they just appear out of nowhere. Oh, like that. Should we go up or should we go down? Because there was more down, but I ignored it. I put it off. Up we go. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay, that's where we just came from. Circling us back around. So, guys, once I, uh, you know, get, get your journal entry I won't need to kill all of you just four more nice um, we do love opening up a little shortcut and I think this is where we were before because I was getting annoyed at this and we dropped down <laughs> thought that dash would take me across the gap. It did not. Okay, I know where we are. Which is always a, a miracle to say in a game like this. Oh shit. Whoa! Um, dream. Nope, hit. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Seriously, okay. It's like me, but not me. Very similar to me. We got our cloak, we got our nail, but different, different spikes. And uh, it's like there's been like goddamn brain surgery on this one. Just boop, popped the top off, sucked the juice out. What the fuck? Oh my God. Okay, guys, stop getting in there. Oh, fucking hell. Broken vessel. Oh my god, it's got my moves. Oh, sh holy crap. Okay, hold on a second. Whoa, okay, hold on, buddy. Oh, I thought I could hit those. Just trying to be smart. Holy crap, what the fuck? Can you fuck off? Okay. Ah. Oh. Need to stop falling on those. Need to also not waste my thing. Oh. Oh, that's my healing opportunity. Nice. Damn it. Don't oh, fucking contact damage, motherfucker. Damn it. And I, again. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. That was the plan all along. Holy crap. Broken vessel. Oh, it like looked at me for a bit. 
Dude. Okay. So we are susceptible to infection. Broken vessel. I'm trying to think about like the implications of the of that. Like are we as a character also susceptible to the infection if we lose our minds? But yeah, it looks like we'd been like hollowed out this character this character, and then the infection can pour in after that. Cause if there's we don't actually know because we we met the mask maker, right? We don't know if um we are a character wearing a mask or whether that is our head, that's our face. You know, we don't we don't actually know that. Um But what's what's curious here is if we take this one as an example, it looks like that it could potentially be and like this is like they've just taken the dome off, taken our brain out, and then because there's empty space, the infection can just sit in there and take over. That's what that was like. That was a really cool fight. It was it's really cool seeing your like your moves that you're familiar with, but also a couple of new ones in there. Like there's like the upward slashing, the stinky fart bubbles. Like he's got some good moves in there. And uh the gate behind us, um, is still closed, so we have to push forwards. Onwards we go, so other people that have come here before say people, but I don't even, you know, other knights that have come here before and not perished down below. It's just, just one of many. It's always interesting when you start seeing the characters that look so similar to you, because we've got Zote the Mighty, who's a looks similar to us. We've got this broken vessel with, there was a clone looking thing version of us in Deep Nest. Very interesting. Ooh, hello. Um. Consumed the monarch wings. Press A while in the air to flap the wings. Use the ethereal wings to sail above enemies and discover new paths. We finally, we finally got what I needed. Oh, I'm so happy. This is what I've needed more than anything in my life. Do you know how many pathways I have marked on this map? You know how many pathways I have marked on this map with the blue symbol that is, I can't get here because I'm too short. Oh, oh, and it looks beautiful. Dude, you know how useful this is going to be in combat as well, where I just need that little saving grace of a goddamn thing? Okay, what I wanted to test just there was jump, dash, jump, and if I had another dash, but I don't. So you can still only dash once in the air. That would have been, that would have been awesome. Dude, I have monarch wings. That's sick. So if I want, need to save myself after a dash, if I need a dash after I jump, oh, that is exceptional. That is, that is beautiful. That is my favorite. I'm so pleased, dude. And now we're going to figure out a way out of here. But now it's, now when I don't have a wall, I can just, I just jump. Oh, dude. Again, just another, just another thing where it's like, the game just giving us beautiful abilities that make going back through previous areas a goddamn dream. That's so good. Ah, oh, hell no. Okay, a dream version of that fight's gonna be gonna be awful. I think what we're gonna do is all of these dream fights. I might save them and we'll do some sort of dream fight gauntlet of pain and suffering you know like we'll run through and we'll do the dream gauntlet we can uh which means you know i will probably end up looking at p a potential list of bosses that can be fought in their dream versions um maybe as like an end game later on thing is i will compile a list of these dream enemies and go and take them on you know okay while we're here we're going to try it once you may as well there's actually, there's nothing to lose by jumping into a dream fight, except your sanity. We can at the very least just have a look. Let's see, let's see what it's about. Because this is what I actually kind of like about the dream fights, uh, is 
we're in a dream. So if we die, uh, we don't die in real life, which is very nice. I do, I do quite like that. Straight into it. Lost Kin, it's called. Okay. Okay, well, if I could maybe potentially stop suffering contact damage all the time, that would be nice. However... You're interrupting my healing phase. Oh, I have a wing. No shit. I'm going to have to practice with this as well. This is going to be fun, but also kind of terrifying at the same time. Oh, well, that's a waste. Yep. Fuck. Um, that wasn't even like me struggling because it was hard. That was just me making significant mistakes constantly. That was just me being uncoordinated. Damn it. Ooh, see? Wings. Never mind. <laughs> like, the wings can save me when I'm in a situation like this. If you want to just skip. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get to the fight faster. That false knight dream fight is the best one because you can just skip all the way to the to the left and it's great. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna really enjoy those wings. Okay, lost kin. Damn it. Oh, this music is really good in this fight too, because it's the um it's the dirt myth theme. Or like bits and pieces of the theme. Oh, that was supposed to be a, you know, not getting hit. Yep, that was all part of the plan. Fuck off. Damn it. These fucking balloons! You motherfuckers! Let me heal! They, they're just like constantly interrupting me from being able to heal. Fucking sucks. Come on, balloons. I know that's your purpose to be annoying as hell. And it's working. Honestly, if it wasn't for that... The, the balloon... Um, appearances constantly, I actually think that fight would be much, much easier. Which is probably why the balloons exist. How annoying is that? Oh shit. Never mind. Um, yeah, the balloons are annoying as fuck because they just, you know, as soon as you have, even when you're in that moment where you can heal, they're like, you mind if I just fucking crush you with my balloon ability? And it's a bit annoying. You mind if I just balloon real quick? All right, one more uh, attempt. And like I said, we'll most likely come back to these later. You motherfuckers. Balloon! You piece of fucking crap! Alright, they're annoying as hell. They just ruined my whole opportunity to heal. Fuck them. They suck. Can you stop mimicking my jumps? Yeah, nah, balloons that can eat my ass for all I care. That That's annoying. All right, we'll come back to that later. Um, I don't think that fight is actually difficult. I think the balloons are annoying. I think that's the only thing that I'm noticing in that fight. It's actually really fun to fight against um, that enemy 
Lost Kin is really cool. I just think the balloons are insufferable. So we're going to come back to that later. So uh, broken vessel, shattered corpse, reanimated by infected parasites. The shape of this creature. I've seen something like it before, more than once, perhaps. It looks like it looks a little like the bugs of Hallow Nest, but not quite the same. Where did these empty little wanderers come from? Hmm. Looks like, oh, it was weird. My screen like, looks like this weird glitch. I can go up here now. Like the bugs of Hallow Nest, like me, but slightly different. Oh, come on. Oh man, that just made me sort of realize that we're gonna have so many segments at some point that are just literally gonna be platforms that are only reachable um, with the Monarch Wings and therefore it's gonna be a whole other sort of platforming experience now. Okay, like this. So if you dash jump, then you can do it, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why we don't blindly fucking super dash. I remember there was a segment earlier people were, like, criticizing me for. So they're like, Ugh, super dash. And I'm like, I've never been there before, so I don't know what would happen. So probably not a good idea. Um, okay. Let's see. I think what I can do is we jump down here. We dash, then jump. Okay. Gotcha, baby. Rescued. And then we can just do the same to get out of here. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna really like these segments because they're challenging, but it's very re rewarding to succeed. That's very cool. I like needing to figure out when to dash first, when to maybe jump and then dash sort of thing. Um, and mix them up a bit. That's very, very cool. I like it a lot. Let's head back. Because I think that now we can get to the palace grounds with uh, with the jump. We can indeed. Let's rest here. Let's update this map and take a look. Damn. Good job. Here we go. All right, now if we go all the way over to the palace grounds, we can actually make it there now. Oh, you know what as well? I think if we go all the way back to the fountain in City of Tears, Hornet went this way. And I'm pretty sure that was a platform that was uh, a jumping out of reach one that we couldn't follow, I think, up there. Maybe. I might be misremembering, but I know that that is one that we're too short for, and I know that, I think, whatever the hell's going on up there, maybe. But I know that there's a couple. Can't remember what that one was for. I, oh, that might have been a shadow gate thing. That one we're definitely too short, but we're not anymore. These two are also out of reach, so we can cross these off the map so I can get my goddamn blue buttons back. Um, this was a weird room. This was that weird, um, shiny room. Shiny room. It was like purple. I don't know what's going on in there. Uh, but we might go to Kingdom's Edge and jump over there now. I'm so happy we have the ability to, to jump. We'll probably take the tram and see where this goes because it might connect to whatever that is there. See where we go from there. Because now I can do this, and I can jump up here. Oh, this is great. This just opens up so much. Okay, so palace time, huh? On to uh, the palace. Palace grounds. I mean, underground palace. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh shit. A corpse in white armor. It's a warrior dream. Ah. Wait a minute. Whoa, hang on. 
it's shielded. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. We need to go to the Seer because we've got more than enough essence now. Fuck. Maybe that's what we need. We need to... Oh. Instant thought as soon as I hit that was like, maybe we can... This a Dream Nail upgrade if we've got enough essence. That would be the most logical thing, right? Okay. Uh, where's a Stagway? God, fucking nowhere when you need one. Um... Because we have one definite upgrade, potentially two from the Seer, because we got 900 and then we killed a Warrior Dream that gave us another 200 Essence. So we're sitting on 1100 right now. Um, yeah, that was my first thought with this. If Dream Nail can't penetrate a dreamy looking shield, means the Dream Nail needs to be stronger. That or you just keep smacking it, but okay. Oh shit. Where have you gone, dear king? Breakable floor. Ooh. What's this? Is that like a sign? Okay. Surely there's got to be a stairway at the palace grounds. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> uh, I was like, you know, maybe a little bit later or tucked away somewhere else, but thanks game. I'm so glad I didn't backtrack. You know how close I was to turning this ship around and going back home? Holy crap. That is hilarious. Ask and you shall receive, you know, <laughs> I need a stag away. Say less. No. Little one, I found it. The stag nest where I was born and raised. I've yet to go there again. My duty binds me to travel only where I am cold. But if you wished to see it yourself, I could take you there. None may remain to welcome us, but the nest is still a sight to behold. Give me the word and we will go there at once. <gasps> oh, that's so amazing. Ah, what station is this? Hidden all the way at the bottom of the world. Until I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world still keeps surprises like this stowed away. Dude, we can go to the stag nest as well. So I'm assuming that's... That's pretty high up. I would have assumed it would... Oh, actually, no, it makes sense that it would be high up because he was literally just saying he didn't even know that there were things so deep. I was about to say, the deeper the better. Um... That is what she said. So let's go um, to, where are we going again? I lost my train of thought because I was like, I need a stairway. Ah, to the seer. So we're going to the resting grounds. Right, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Probably the most well-placed stairway of all time right there. That was, that was really, you know, right where I needed it. <laughs> Literally right where I needed it. All right. To the seer. And then we can just go back and we can also check out the stag nest. Hello. Ah, wielder, you've returned. The dream now now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind, like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the dream nail tight, wielder, and imagine a great gate opening before you. Master the dream gate? Hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate. Hold up while using the dream nail to travel to it. Holy crap. That is so cool. You can, we can, oh my God. That is amazing. Does it reset upon death? Because if it doesn't, you can set yourself a spawn point. That is not at all what I would ever expect to happen. Hold down, you have a dream gate. And then if I just like 
I sit out here and I go and do this. Dude, that is fucking amazing. That's cool as shit. It stays there too. Until you set a new one, I suppose. Dude, you know how you know how good that is? <laughs> do you know what you know what we could have done now? And I don't know if this would work, but I would assume it would, because there's no mention of it from the Grey Mourner. But if you set this dream gate at the um the destination for the flower and then go all the way back to the Grey Mourner, get a flower and just travel via Dreamgate. Is that possible or would the flower break? You just sidestep the whole thing there. Outsmart it. <laughs> this adds so many tactical things. Um, you can't, I don't think it's useful in combat whatsoever. <laughs> it's got no combat promise because it takes such a long time to use and, and handle. But you can set yourself a spawn point now, so just before a boss fight attempt, uh, you just put that bad boy down, um, and then you can just appear there again. And it makes uh, traveling really great, so it's like, I can just leave this here anytime I want to come back to the seer. You know, if I get stuck, BAM! That is just like a saving grace, that is incredible. Ah, Wilder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream now. Let's see, because uh, Sia did not tell us when our next upgrade was. No! Alright, 1200. Okay, we've got... Um, 1100 something. Okay. No upgrade yet, which means we cannot... Ah, cool. The dream gate is marked on our map as well. Not exactly where we left it, but I guess in the general vicinity. Um, amazing. All right, so going back to the palace grounds, probably not um, worth it just yet because we'll go back there when we can actually figure out that, um, that uh, the dream warrior down there that's protected. Uh, looks like there's a pathway that does go down, however. And maybe I should check out that. So we've got those two things. Oh, this is super exciting because so many things that I've been wanting to get to for the longest time have now just opened up, which is um, so good. And then we're in this classic conundrum of we have a backlog of things to do, but then a, a new thing pops up and we go, ooh, new thing. <laughs> so we're like, I gotta go to the new thing. We gotta take the last stag to the stag nest. How do you feel? Being back in my old home, I feel the weight of my long life bearing down on me. I carry it proudly though. Wherever I travel, the memories of my family and my kind come with me. Cute. Wholesome stag. Look at all the bells. Oh wow. And all the ghostly echoes of, um, like people and voices. I got a vessel fragment. And I think the saddest part here is that it seems that all the stags came home for their final resting place. Maybe on the butterfly thingies, little lights. Nope. Got, got to try, just in case. Do it on everything. Oh, I guess you definitely wouldn't have Cornifer down here. Cornifer, you got a map for this place? Okay, we got a pressure plate. automatically goes down. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, an 
empty eggshell. An empty eggshell. He's not the last stag. Look at, there's a bunch, they're all stag eggs. And some of them may, maybe, oh, why did I go to attack? <laughs> there was a weird reflex to like destructible objects. And I'm like, no, eggs, precious. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Literally like ex extinct bug species. Um, an egg is hatched. Mr. Stag, you're not the last one. There's a stag out there somewhere. You must protect and cherish it. You must find it. Ooh. Cool. We must go and deliver that news. Oh, shit. Oh, the stag nest is right by the Howling Cliffs. Holy crap. Damn. Where's this? Okay. Oh god, yeah. Gorb! Huh. Can I get back up there? You know what I should have done? The game was literally like, hey man. Dream gate. And then I forgot about it immediately. I should have put a dream gate there. Whenever you make a drop that you're like, can I go back? Can I, can we get up? Damn. Damn it. Interesting. Okay. More to this place than uh, than I initially thought. Hmm. Where is um Let's head back to Nailmaster while we're here. I have forgotten where that is. Is it under is it underneath Old Gorb? Where's Nailmaster in um Howling Cliffs? I've forgotten. Oh, it, it's the, it's the save bench, isn't it? He's you got the save bench like outside. I think yes, because here are the nails. Because I want to tell him that I met um, his brother, the third one, the third brother. All right, let's have a look at that map. Oh, that's nice. It's like neatly tucked away up there. Look at that. Cool. Brother. I found your brother. Garo Enele? The nail art, the dash slash, learnt from my brother Oro, was it not? So he is still alive then. Hmm. I still haven't forgotten what he owes me and I never will. Oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't bother you with such things. I'm happy that you were able to train under another nail master and grow stronger, my pupil. Goaname, Churo? That charm, could it be? Only the great nail sage himself could have bestowed such a thing. Your achievements humble my own, my pupil. I myself have sworn never to lay eyes on the Nail Sage again, not until I have truly mastered his teachings. But if you see him again, please let him know that I'm forever grateful. I'm really liking the connective tissue between the three Nail Masters and the Nail Sage and being able to travel back and forth between them once you, um, you know, meet more of them. Really, really cool. Before you leave, rest and meditate with me for a while. Your company is always welcome. And then we sit for a bit. Um, that's great. I love that sometimes the game will just chuck you in an, in an area like this and just kind of loop you around. And you're like, oh, well, I'm here. I can do this. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So the stag nest is connected to the howling cliffs. The stag nest connected to the howling cliffs. The howling cliffs connected to the green path. Green paths connected to the Queen's Gardens. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I'm going to do this. Whee! I want to use this bad boy because this is right next to a stagway. How about that? That's awesome. That's just so cool. Not the upgrade that I expected. I genuinely was like, oh, dr dream now strength upgrade, surely. Stronger dream now. Did not expect um, our own little fast travel system. Oh shit, he was saying more. Um, I didn't realize that you could talk to him from up here after that. I think he said, what did you think of my home little one? It was full of life once. Stags coming and going, swapping stories of the places they'd been and the passengers they'd met. For a long time now, I've considered myself the only one remaining. 
The Lost Stag. Yes, but being in the nest again, there's something in the air, a smell, or a warmth, or a presence perhaps. Could it be other stags have made their way out into the wider world? Yes, I will hold on to that hope. My kin, still alive, still out there, journeying beyond these lands. But for me, I could never abandon the stagways, not as long as passengers still need them. I can tell you still have important work to do. I will be your companion as long as my old body still serves. Let us enjoy the old stagways of this kingdom together a little longer, and his name's changed from the last stag to old stag. That's so good. Very subtle changes there that I really appreciate. That's amazing. So going to the stag nest, you see that he's not the last one. That's awesome. And see, this is the thing. This is the unpredictable nature of Hollow Knight is at the beginning of an episode, I'm like, look, last time I said I'll do this, we're going to check this out. We'll see what happens. You never know. And then we just stumble upon a whole bunch of just incredible things that you're like, oh, really, really cool. That's great. Um, I'm looking at the Stagway map and it's looking pretty, pretty much almost complete, except for the fact that there's a little spot in the middle left there that looks a bit faded. And I'm wondering if there's going to be a spot there. And I'm not, I can't even remember now how this map has branched out before. Oh, sorry, excuse me, branched out before. If you've seen like, um, pathways faded out like that, whether it's always been solid and opened up. I haven't actually paid as much attention to the map opening up until now. And I was like, how close are we to actually maybe completely charting the stagways? Because, um, every time we get to a new spot, this, uh, the old stag is just like, I, I didn't even know this was here. And then he's gone through the stagways so much he's remembered where his home was. So I would say that he'd have to have found most of the stations for him to remember how to get home, which is really cool. Uh, I think from here, what we're going to do is we'll pop over to King's Station because I would like to check out a couple of the pathways um, that we were not able to reach before. So if we go back left, if we go back left, we'll be able to go through that fountain. Um, and we can head up to this. And then we can go back over to Kingdom's Edge and check out these ones. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to put one up those bad boys down. I'm going to try and remember to do this as much as possible because I can just come back here when I'm done. But I'm also going to be smart and sit my ass on this thing and then we'll move on. So awesome. God, that, that those mantis wings are like they're my they're my dream ability i think that like that's i think they're perfect for me because there's so many like times where i'll just want to just do a slight you know just a slight little move and the i think just the wings are just perfect for me they really are I hope this is safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I hope this is safe. <laughs> Forgotten this pathway a little bit. Okay, now I believe if my memory serves, and it rarely ever does, um, I believe Hornet may have gone up this way because there. I remember our last meeting was at this fountain. And then... Um, this was out of reach, and it's now not out of reach. Even the jump needed the wings. So this is new. Hello? Open up. I'm knocking at your door politely. Isn't that what a noble would do? Okay, never mind. Ah! Ok, 
Okay, we've got a gate. Every time you hit a wall in Hollow Knight, sometimes you just need to break that wall. You find a new ability and then it's just the greatest thing ever. And that's not to say it's a, a wall of unenjoyment. It's just literally like this wall of just, oh God. Just this wall of, um, damn, this is like really challenging. Or like there's a few, a few spots that are building up on the to-do list here that I haven't been able to check out yet. Ouch. Okay, something that I've definitely realized as well is the enemies that do hit you for two damage, <laughs> the game does actually make it very clear because you get smacked with a big old noise, um, which I think every time I got hit by a big boy, I'm always just kind of like yelling out of panic. So I never even really heard the noise much but it's very clear actually <laughs> you're like yep you get smacked with a base boost in the face all right i got a rest spot oh interesting this um connects with there which is a pathway we haven't been able to that's a blocked pathway according to my map so we're close to being on the other side of it and if we go over this side Oh, imagine having hands put on you by one of those things. Terrible. All right, there's a way. Oh, no, there is not. Damn. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, see, here's a thing, right, that this game doesn't always communicate clearly, but I should probably know better by now is, for example, this was locked. You're like, oh shit, how do we open this? And we end up flicking this switch and it opens this gate. And it's very easy to, and this is what I do. It's very easy to just assume that this is, congratulations, you've dropped in this pit. You fit this, you've done these enemies. Now you can't get out. So this is just your way out. And I never really think about, and I probably should, maybe it's opened something else. And I know that it's happened a few more times, few other times in the past. Like we've opened, uh, we've flicked a switch and it has opened other pathways. I just tend to forget about that. So I, I will try and see if I can remember, which is a funny joke that I've just made because I will probably not. Hey, but you know, all's well that ends well. We, we've found out that this door opened so everything has worked out well and there you go now we can just do that now we can go up here good oh we got like goddamn oh shit we got rich noble family portraits going on over here Pushing me over the fucking line. Ah. Uh, thank you. Look at these portraits, eh? Elevator. Okay. That takes us... Well, that takes us here, so now I can see what's on the other side. This must have been just a door or something that I can open now, right? Yes. Cool. I sure do love being able to take these marks off the map. That's my favorite. Cool, so now we can go to here. Little flare. Did 
watching. Awesome! Now let's take this elevator. footsteps so this could potentially be a f no I was going this could be a boss no it's just this fucker <laughs> I sure do love oh shit there's a gate I sure do love uh, jumping into an enemy and taking damage when I could have avoided that damage You are free! Nice, okay. Now we'll go over this other side. Alright, well I guess Hornet did not go this way after all. So that's anybody's guess. We haven't seen Hornet in a while now. Oh, actually, maybe up here. Maybe. Ooh, okay, hold on. I'm scared. Defend seal. I don't know. Yep, fuck it. Light full. Am I about to get into a fight with a bunch of roly poly boys? Strong husk. Strong husk. Strong husk. Defend seal. Okay. Okay, what I expected to happen didn't happen, which is which is fine. I was like, the, the these little little fireflies up here look like they're the same color as the infection. I was waiting for like this sequence where they all just fly into like these husks down here and then just get like possessed. But it just didn't happen. So I was like, that's fine. I was like, all right, we just keep on strolling. <sighs> okay, well, at least it's only one roly-poly boy. How the fuck do I fight you? It's clear that your belly is going to be a weak point, but how do I get in there? Okay, there we go. Let me in your belly. Oh, shit. Okay, it's not even just the belly. It's just when you're not in zoom mode. All right, I got you. Uh, sky is falling. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said at least it's not. Oh, fuck. All right, well, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm too busy, like, fucking crying out of the ridiculous of that. I was just like, well, <laughs> at least there is only... At least there's only one. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Monarch Wings, I love you. Again, though, here's the thing. Is I've made this commentary time and time again throughout uh, the course of this game. Is uh, how good this game is at communicating its environment to you. That sometimes you will look at the environment and then want to you can analyze it and see what's going to happen and then sometimes it will trick you like that because you're like oh like it looks like this is going to happen but it didn't so that's cool oh no never mind 
Um, but it is really great to see the, like I say, the visual consistency of um, of this game. <laughs> and how much the environment tells you things ahead of time. It's uh, very, very good. <laughs> now, what I might do... Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just realized where we're going. I just realized where we're going. Oh, we're on our way up to the... We're on our way up to the Dreamer. I just realized where we're going. Holy crap. Okay. And then I think if we go that way, we go to this one. That's exciting. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I just really like how the, the game will tell you what's going on. Now, I said I would put a... I've left my dream gate thing there, but I have a feeling that I might just keep dying. Maybe I should just put it here, because then we can test the theory. Of uh, if we can just respawn here after death. Okay. Shall we try again? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I just realized that Monarch Wings make this beautiful as well. Ah. Uh, maybe if I don't mess up my timing of shit. Oh my god, it's a bit chaotic. Please don't be more than two because I don't know if I can even handle that. I don't even know which one I started attacking. Did I get one? Oh no, I didn't. Oh, there's more than one. How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Oh no, he's dead. Okay, we're good, we're good. I mean, more than two, sorry. Fuck, okay. I was like, I was like, he's not dying. He's just transforming or let's like my healing opportunity. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, I'm I'm so glad. That saves so much time. Okay, so... I think it costs a one singular dream essence every time you use it. Because it went down from 11.16 uh, to 11.15. Which is fine, I can deal with that. Alright. It does die. But then it looks like it just, uh, it infects another... Fuck. Fuck. It infects another one. Alright, got one. I don't know which one I started on. Sheesh. Okay. Because you need to keep your eyes on the one that you focused on first so you can get them out of the picture. We're going to have to take on a bunch of them. Well, not a bunch of them at once at least, but yeah, it does cost one dream essence. So how many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my dear Lord. Okay. Please not all of them. It's going to be all of them. Okay. 
Oh no, it's going into two, it's going into two real quickly. Okay. I thought if I was like efficient with my time, we'd be good. Guys, please. What is this? What is this, fellas? How the fuck are you supposed to be dodgeable? Oh! What the fuck? Oh my dear lord, man. <gasps> Got one. Holy shit. I got another one. Stop going in them. Just when I think I'm making progress, you bastards. I tried to heal and it didn't. Ugh. Fuck off, man. This is bullshit. You not just get weaker every time? Woo! Huh. Fuck. What the fuck? I was really hoping that would have been a kill. Whoa! Oh my god. Yes. No. Fuck off! Whoa! This is unbelievable! Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Holy crap. Watcher Knight. Discarded shell of a Watcher Knight reanimated by a swarm of infected flies. When these silent warriors fall in battle, their bodies split open and strange bugs come flying out. I wonder what will come flying out of me when I die? Will my hopes and fears drift away into the darkness? Well, when I die, I get some goddamn darkness version of myself just chilling for a while. Oh. Exhilarating. That was so fucking amazing. It was also easy, and I first tried. So easy. God damn! That was fun. And it was only fun because I won. <laughs> oh, that's great, dude. Like, it's funny because it's one of those fights where you go, I could just always just bounce on top of them to win. But then obviously they have the moves where they just directly just bounce up in the air to just like knock you down from that train of thought real quick. But it is very, very tight sometimes. Holy, holy hell. Incredible. Okay. Dead nobles. Master, too tired. Oh. I'm scared. Well, actually, no, I'm not scared because the dreamers aren't fights, are they? So I'm not actually scared at all. <gasps> oh. We're right next to it. The Watcher's Spire. This is so cool. Waiting for a jump scare on the lens. Wow, can I move this? No. I was wondering if I could move it. I mean, can't see shit, but cool though. Oh, 
Oh, what are you doing here? That's weird. What are you doing in here, eh? Yeah, exactly, you run away. A sleeping figure lays atop a stone plinth. I actually really did not expect to be finding our second dreamer um, in the next episode because I was considering going elsewhere and then we just went this way. <laughs> um, God, Monarch Wings changed everything. Thank you, Monarch Wings. You brought us to the next dreamer. I was going to just do more of like an explore. It's really funny. Every time I go into a, an episode being like, cool, we're going to go back and explore things now with new abilities and we just always end up in new places. Let us go and see. Um, now, Hurrah the Beast was the last one. I can't remember the name for the Watcher. This music is so interesting. For King Beloved. Oh no, to sleep, to serve. Bonds must remain. There's mul oh, there's multiple dialogues to be gotten out of hitting them with the dream nail. I think I, I think we only hit Hurrah the Beast once, didn't we? Remain. Remain. There's multiple pieces of dialogue. Urgh. That bugs me. Well, we know now, at least for two out of three of them, I hit them a bit more time, a few more times with the dream now. <laughs> Hollow Knight bathtub. Let's go. Suck in your dream essence. Two out of three. Last time the infected crossroads happened, and now I'm scared. Because what happens now? Oh, okay, my Xbox Game Bar achievement just popped up, so it was Lurian the Watcher just appeared. Xbox Game Bar achievements coming in clutch. Nice. And you just watched all of that happen. See, we can go over here. And we can go and um, check that out. So this was the achievement that we just got. Destroy Lurian the Watcher. How have only seven, seven point nine eight percent? How has only seven point nine eight percent of people um, done that? Seven percent stagnest. Hurrah the beast. Eight. Eight percent. Oh, I've rescued half of the imprisoned grubs. That's nice to know. All right, I've rescued, well, over half now. Grub friend. Okay, so they're called grubs. I think I called it a grub once. Bring peace to the Grey Mourner. 3.48%. I mean, mind you that this is only um, on Xbox percentage. And I assume PC as well. For uh, Xbox PC. Not Steam. It's very interesting to see such a low percentage. Oh, we've... Hang on, there we go. We've got 28% in False Knight. Acquire your first charm, only 32%. That's wild. You're dead. Should've used the Dream Nail on you before I killed you. Alas. Wild. He, he do be watching. Um, oh, we can destroy those. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, I have to destroy the other one now. It's uneven. Why is it? It feels so much longer on the way down. It feels so much longer on the way down than the, than the way up for some reason. And I'm doing it all just to destroy a statue. Thank you. I wonder if you can step off. Oh shit, you can. Oh, mm. Wee. sleep, 
beckons eternal, and these words become my last. Though my gaze shall no longer fall upon this city, I will act forever in its protection. For king, for bug, for hallow nest, I head now to my rest. Oh shit. So we're getting we're getting lore stuff. Um Luri and the Watcher writing his like dreamy suicide note here. And we're getting lore on the decision in the background stuff, which means I'm there were some things that I think that we checked about Hurrah the Beast, and it was more like um, I think the, the bugs in that place were like worshipping um, worshipping them for king for bug for hallow nest I now head to my rest which is very interesting because I'm like like what I, what I said is like we oh it was only that one interesting that one has nothing that one has nothing it was literally it was literally the last one uh <laughs> oh. Um, well, there you go. That's nice. I'm glad that I went for that statue. And be careful not to get killed by the spikes in the elevator. See, I thought we'd be able to inspect this, because looking at this, it looks like a painting of the city. Alright. Worth it. Um, okay, for some reason I thought there was going to be like three slots then, once we discovered that top one. But only the one. I wonder if we missed... We might have missed something in, in Deep Nest in regards to... Hurrah the Beast lore about um, them going to sleep too. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the, the plot thread here that I'm trying to talk about and keep getting distracted by is... Um, when we defeated Hurrah the Beast, the crossroads became infected. And the vault has a bunch of shit coming out of it as a result. And now we've destroyed a second seal on this vault. So would it be right to assume that the infection might even spread even further out? And then the third seal, it gets worse. And then once it's open, it seems like we'd do pretty much irreversible damage with the infection to, to Deep Nest. The vibe that I'm getting, not Deep Nest, sorry, to Hallow Nest. Uh, the vibe that I'm getting here is... It seems that to protect this place, even though it's kind of in a very sorry state, to protect it from getting worse, the dreamers sacrifice themselves to eternal sleep to protect... Um, to protect this place. And now that we have that in mind, right, with this infection and the color of the infection specifically being orange, when we look at this symbol here, of the Hollow Knight with the orange eyes. Uh, what I want to throw out there right now is I feel like the dreamers, you know, they're saying it's for the king. I think they're saying it's like, you know, for the greater good. Is it seems like they may have had to seal the king away. Seal the Hollow Knight in this thing to prevent absolute ruin and devastation. That sort of getting two out of three dreamers in and sort of taking, you know, the context of everything that's happening so far and what we've witnessed in the game, it seems that likely that that is kind of what's going on. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but it just seems very fitting. But we shall see. Um, we shall see. It's going to be fun to continue going through the game and finding that out for myself as we progress through through the story. That's so cool. Um, and I'm, I'm really liking how the, the story comes to you. And I, I think that this is um, very rewarding um, when you've played, when you've played a lot of FromSoft games with ha which has a very similar approach to how it handles its like lore and world building is it's very much in the the items you find and the the stories that you discover throughout the world and piecing that together and the npcs that you talk to um it's not like a narrative that is um you know fed to you to understand it's what it's a story that you have to actually like find yourself 
and so your understanding of the world and its story will be solely based on what you actually discover yourself. But it seems that are also a very common trend with um, games like this, with how it handles its stories. You will always, you know, <laughs> end up having your uh, lore experts to do your videos for you. Like you've got, like everyone sort of will praise Varty Vidya because they're like, I had no idea what was going on until I watched this guy tell me, you know, and they sort of become like these resident sort of experts with knowledge <laughs> uh, for those that, you know, either maybe miss things or play this game more for its gameplay than its um, storytelling. But I play it for all of it, so I always try and take in as much as possible. And it's very re rewarding as a result. Like I said, I feel like it's it's just so much of a better experience when you just want to fucking drown yourself in lore while also enjoying the gameplay tremendously. Um, so let's take a look in our in our journal because we did unlock a new journal entry for one of these uh, noble bad boys. I think it was the this one, the gluttonous husk. As these bugs become wealthier, they hunted less and consumed more, eventually taking on a grotesque shape not unlike overripe fruit. Love it. Um, and then I think we should be able to have a look at. All the way down the bottom, maybe. No. Yeah, I just thought I'd check. The dreamers don't get added to this. Dreamers do not get added to this. Okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna drop all the way down. We are going to drop all the way down because we're going to go to the fountain because we put a little spot on it because I wanted to see if the fountain is different and this is this is something that we are following up from so long ago now when we went to the Royal Waterways because uh, we turned on like a valve for some water. Not what I thought, but cool. Um, I thought it was gonna like maybe activate this, and there'd be like m like, it'd be like psh, all this water coming out. But it looks like the water is just more of a rainwater s situation. It, yeah, in the black vault far above, through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. So the Hollow Knight has been sacrificed, so the city can. Um, I guess not necessarily survive, but just continue to exist. Um, and I guess our character has come here to just go, well, I'm going to go and just kill all the dreamers. I'm going to go into this vault and I'm going to kill the Hollow Knight myself. <laughs> like, I'm just going to kill the Hollow Knight myself. Hello. Who were you, Mystery Knight? Why no mention beyond your fountain? Oh. Okay, hang on. This might not be the king as well. Uh, maybe I'm misinterpreting. For some reason, I thought the Hollow Knight may also have been the king. I may have misinterpreted that. So there's a queen and a king. Maybe I don't know who the king is. And that is the Hollow Knight is not. I thought the Hollow Knight was like, because that's like a BIS crown almost. Helma Delica. Relic Seeker Lem has come out here. What are you doing out in this miserable downpour? Impressive fountain, isn't it? I'm sure we'd be able to appreciate it more if we weren't both getting drenched. That night up there was an important one. The plaque here mentions its sacrifice, which carries something of an ominous tone. Probably met some sort of horrible end, though it sounds like the knight's goal may have been achieved in the process. In all the relics I've collected, I've yet to find a clue as to what it was. I guess the king has more of a different shape to the head, because if we look at the king's idols, it looks like f these four spikes. Right, so I yeah, I was I was under the wrong assumption. Yeah. The king has a crown of four spikes. Hollow knight Hollow Knight, not <laughs> uh Hollow Knight has um 
whatever that's got going on. Gachale. I'll be getting back to the shop soon. If I stay out here too long, I'll get washed into the waterways. Come and visit if you like. If you have relics, I mean. I'm not much for sh for chatter. Gachale. I forgot what Relic Seeker Lem looks like, so I thought this might have been a new um, NPC. Um, so he popped out of his shop for a bit. Okay, well, I'm going to get rid of that then, because there was no thing there. There was a new NPC. I wonder what happens with... I wonder what we did then when we activated uh, down here somewhere the valve and some water shut up. Like, I'm not sure what we've done there. I really thought it would be this spot. That something might have changed in. I do not know. Now you do be in here, and I have... A, I'm just going to hold on to these, bud, because I got more geo than I know what to do with right now. So, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to not give you any of that and we're going to choose our next destination I think I think we should travel up to uh, Dirtmouth and then see if anything has now got maybe the Forgotten Crossroads have gotten even worse maybe it's the Forgotten Crossroads that will be the, the stuff that like changes in a pretty dramatic way because that's sort of the source of where the um, you know that's that's the source of the infection it seems or maybe not the source of the infection but the source of some of the infection It is hard when you start, you know, you're trying to piece stuff together based on what you've encountered and experienced in the game so far, but you obviously don't have the full picture yet, so you're kind of like having that fun, sort of theorizing and, and piecing it together. You're like, where, where am I? What is happening in this story yet? And have we figured it out? For example, I still haven't gotten this gate open, and I feel like we probably should have done that by now. Must be something around here that I just haven't interacted with yet. <laughs> it's always funny how that works. I always see things being like, looks like we should be able to do, so do something about this, and then I just don't. I, yeah, I don't know. It's just money anyway, I, like, and I, like I said, I'm not hurting for Geo, baby. Really not hurting for it. Let's go and see if it's if it's worse now in the Forgotten Crossroads. I would assume so. Taking out one dreamer, it looked pretty bad. Akala, Ildebug. Oh, let's talk to Sly because we chatted to another nail master. Echobus. Are your travels, nail master? As time goes by, I'm sure you'll only grow stronger. If you see your fellow nail masters again, tell them I carry them in my thoughts always, and that they should come and buy something from their old teacher as a mark of respect. <laughs> Papa Sute. I love that they're always like they're all thinking and talking about each other all the time, but they just refuse to hang out with each other out of stubbornness. Yeah, look, it's not looking good. You can see the orange seeping up. Let's go and have a look. Is there more around the environment than there was last time? God, it's bright. Oh shit, I almost traveled back to my dream gate. Only one seal remains. Okay. Let's 
creepy. Okay, I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to Kingdom's Edge, and we're gonna check out those spots that I have previously not been able to access because I did not have the ability to fly with these things. It got me my neat little double jump. Ooh. Ooh. I'm doing it all for you, bug. Um, King Station. I'm going to go to the bathroom because I need a bathroom break. Sitting here on my on my cheeky little food break. You know. After your piss break, you take a food break. They go together. And my yogurt. My mango yogurt. Is the same color as the infection. So watch out, guys. I'm about to get infected like everyone else in Hallow Nest. By uh by eating this. These things are a lifesaver. They're so good. When you just like want a snack and you don't want to eat a lot, but you just want to kind of have something, amazing. And then you wash it down with one of these bad boys. <laughs> For a balanced diet. For a balanced diet. Um, don't worry, I eat well. I have good breakfast. I make myself a damn good breakfast. I take care of myself in the mornings, that's for sure. But when you're gaming, you gotta sip on the gamer juice, you know what I mean? Alright, so Kingdom's Edge is where we're going. Those two previously inaccessible pathways are about to become the mighty damn accessible. So let's see what we can discover. Part of me is really tempted to go uh, immediately to this one and see if we can make our way here from this pathway, but it also scares me because I don't know. I don't know if that's like the end of the game or something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if um, killing the final dreamer opens the seal and then we go there and then that's it, you know? Because there's still so much to sort of explore that we haven't yet uh that it makes me want to do that first so i i don't know i have no idea i think um no yeah i have i have no idea <laughs> so we're just gonna have to really grin and bear it and just uh and just find out now i guess we'll go the should we should we go back to the Coliseum of Fools, guys? <laughs> go to the Coliseum of Fools. I do want to try again on round three. I wonder how much difference. Actually, you know what? I think having the Monarch Wings will make a tremendous amount of difference because what we'll be able to do... Just being able to have that extra jump in the air, especially in the segments that we were struggling in the most. And I say we like we were doing it together because we were doing it together. I say we, you know, we're struggling. Because it was a joint struggle. Um, we were really struggling in the ones where it's like, it, it's just walls with a floor of spikes. If we were are able to have that extra jump when we're in the air, I think that might even be a lifesaver. Um, that would be really good. I've just realized something about this area as well. Um, not sure if we'll be able to do anything about this yet, but I just realized that I couldn't see it before I missed it, but just behind this light here are the like some empty empty jars and they're the same ones that the grubs are kept in so i'm not sure what to make of that but i just wanted to acknowledge that i have seen it 
It only took me running through here a few times to notice that in the background. And I think that's kind of the neat thing about coming through a place like this and uh, backtracking sometimes or re-entering new areas and you'll pick up on things uh, in the area that you didn't notice before, you know? I think that's really, really cool. I don't even think we've really explored all of this room, to be honest with you. Like, there might even be some other branching pathways we've yet to uncover. It's kind of like the, the tragic thing about um, how this map works is when you've entered a room and then you rest at a bench, it fills it in. So it's not necessarily that it's even been explored fully. It's just like Resident Evil games, their map won't fill in the map until it's completed, which is great. Uh, but this one is just like, if you've just been in the room, it fills it in. And then you just have to look for like pathways. Like we can see here um, that we haven't gone here. There's a little one there, which I think might link to this tram open up something in here but then there are things like I guess like items enemies hidden walls whatever that you can miss primal aspids yeah the four the four bugmen of the apocalypse is um, primal aspids uh, I think they're called well they crystal hunters. I believe they're called. I went the wrong way, because of course I did. Where are you? Crystal Hunters, yep. So, Crystal Hunters, Primal Aspids, Great Hoppers, and the Stalking Devout. Those are the four horsemen, four bugmen of the apocalypse right there. You, and then you can celebrate your victory, killing a primal aspect without taking damage, only to fall on a thing of spikes. Nice. At least with the Stalking Devout, I figured their timing out, so that's nice, at the very least. Removed, because I'm finally up here. Nice. We got a save bench. And we got a destructible wall, because you can see that the sign is pointing upwards, but it's bent. So it was pointing up here. Oh, wow. A Wanderer's Journal. This ash trapped. Oh, it's ash. Interesting. Yes, that makes sense. Every time I think I can confidently dash a gap, the game says no. We, okay, so she went all the way to Kingdom's Edge. Interesting. Okay, so we last saw her here. Okay, we found her. All right, so Hornet went to Kingdom's Edge. Where are you? This is cool. Uh, look at this massive, like, what looks to be, like, a massive bone structure of, like, a bug here with, like, these spikes. Looks like a huge... Like, either collection of bugs or, like, yeah, just, like, massive ones. So you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. What is happening? 
Oh my god, no, not another hornet fight. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Okay. Oh, last time you bullied me, but my powers have doubled since last time we met, Hornet. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're blocking me. That's cool. Oh shit, no, I hit you. No, she like literally. Fuck. Oh, I can hit those, nice. Okay, hit those. I accidentally hit her when it was my opportunity to heal. I won't make that mistake again. Hopefully. Do you mind? Just, just a little bit stressed. Ah! Fuck off. I, I like... <laughs> God damn! I was really hoping to like get her to need to take a breather for a second there. All right, very cool. Right, like I said, I refuse to be bullied this time though. I refuse to be bullied this time. We we got this. Um, very cool new spike move. Oh, you're there. Okay, thank you. Didn't realize you'd be right there. It's so much more windier in here than it was last time. Oh, straight into it, huh? Jesus. Jeez. I'm doing worse now. I always do better when I'm taken off guard, it's weird. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh. Messing up my downward spike attacks when I'm like trying to attack her. And I accidentally just go like, you know, I'd land on her instead. Fuck. Oh, that was close. Is it strong enough? I wanted to quickly get a dream nail on you. Ah. Could this one succeed? Gotcha. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself? 
then do it, Ghost of Hallow Nest. Head onward, burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Those are some fancy titles being thrown around there. Ghost of Hallow Nest. Claim ourself as king. Clutch victory. Second try. I'll take that. <clears throat> Not everything can be done first try, guys, like normal. You know, sometimes it takes until the second try. I'll own, I'll own that. No shit. Is this the husk of the king? And is the king fucking huge? Because if we cast, cast off shell. Because if we look at the king's idol, it looks like the king's idol. Which is depicting the king. You know, for some reason, I didn't think the kingdom, uh, the king itself, you know, would be a giant worm. But also, that's kind of fucking badass. Look at this weird... What is that? Worth a try. Marked by King's brand, Hallow Nest shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, oh actually, I'm taking damage. I thought I could be smart and super dash out. She saved me. I'm the king now. I'm king of Hallow Nest? Um, and that What? I'm just I'm just king of Hallowness now. Um most unlikely pathway ever. I'm just like, yeah guys, we're just going to find these pathways off Kingdom's Edge. I you literally find Hornet, fight her again and find the supposed remains of the previous king. And then just casually get marked by the king's brand. And now we are the new ruler. In a, and it was a cast off shell. I think the important thing to note is that it was casted off. So it's not like it's the husk of a dead king, but that potentially the king was able to shed skin or even, I, I don't know, like was able to maybe cast off a kingly shell, leaving behind like the responsibility, the mark of king, shedded the brand. So it could still be out there somewhere, casting off that sort of part of him. But what the fuck? I think the really bizarre thing about this game that surprises me is you're on this path of like, you know, you know I'm like, taking on the, the the dreamers here and then opening up this vault and I'm thinking that's sort of like all the main stuff that's going on and you're navigating this world and then you'll just get on this random pathway like literally just seemingly completely out of the way random ass pathway you'll encounter hornet you'll have a big story moment and then you'll become the king all in the matter of just this one hallway <laughs> all of a sudden and it's so surprising the twists and turns of, of this game. I'm just like, oh yeah, these will, this will probably lead to like uh, a Wanderer's Journal or a Hallowed Nest Seal or you know, some Geo or something, these previously inaccessible areas. But no, these these areas that are accessed by the Manda's Claw are like, are like the big stuff. 
There's like the big stuff is going on here. Which is crazy, dude. Um, wouldn't it be cool if like you you visually changed, like you could see that you were like branded or something? I don't know, but like, I'm just a bit fucking taken aback by what we've just gone through there. Oh my, oh my god, fuck off. Get it, no, 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 get it, go away. <laughs> go away. What's worse than one primal aspid? All of them. Oh. Did I miss this? Nice, wondrous journal. How long has this been sitting here? Okay, what's here? God damn it. Okay, no, it's this. Okay. That's fine. All right, that. That can stay. Again, that's another thing, actually, by the way. Being king don't mean shit to these things. You know what would be nice? Recognize me. I am your king. Um. Oh, we should go back to the palace ground. Should we go back to palace grounds? King's Pass. What can we do with our newly acquired kingly power? <laughs> I'm genuinely not sure. Wait, where's, why is my dream... Oh. That's clever. Because we can't go back to that area anymore. Because it seemingly looks like it caved in. Um, obviously, my dream gate is not there anymore. So the dream gate goes to the last place that I put it. That's pretty smart. Sheesh. All right. Um, I'm a bit blown away. I'm a bit blown away. And not because it was, uh, you know, very windy by that cast off shell, you know. Just not what I expected to happen at all. We got another Hornet boss fight and we got to really showcase our combat improvements from when we first fought her, <laughs> uh, which was great. That was so nice. To like have a rematch with a similar move set and even some added moves in there and perform much better. Um, so that was really cool. It makes me just appreciate these games so much and like how much you learn as well going through it very exciting Actually, have we... Have we been up here? This isn't marked on the map yet. We haven't been up here because I think this is another Mantis Claw spot. I was like looking at the, the those ledges and being like, wait a minute, those are like kind of very much out of reach. Nice. All right, we haven't been here before. More new discoveries up here. See, and I guess this is a prime example, right? When I say that it fills in the whole map and it almost kind of confuses you sometimes because you're like, oh yeah, this area, been here. When you haven't, I'm just going to do that instead. Fuck you guys. <laughs> okay. despise them. Oh. Oh. The 
soft little face. <laughs> the little face. One prefers its mind not be pried. It's rather unsettling, rather invasive. Oh god, I love it when you dream nail NPCs that just go, what are you doing? It's so good because, like, I literally said, this is so invasive, but lore. Uh, and <laughs> Billy Bob. Bardoon. Oh, tiny thing, you climb high. Seek, then, knowledge of these lands. This ashen place is Grave of Worm. Grave of Worm. Once told, it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of being spawned from that event. Yeah, baby. That's why I said giant worm. And when I was saying giant worm, I meant worm with a Y. That's so cool. Yeah. Is it bothering you about my tail? Oh, this is the same one that we were... <laughs> oh, my God. This is the... <laughs> This is that thing that we were smacking and he was like laughing about it. Uh, that is, uh, that's hilarious. I forgot all about that. Is it bothering you about my tail? Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. Oh, <laughs> oh great. Tiny thing. Oh, hmm. the mark of worm you bear. The king was a giant ass worm. But there has been a transformation because the shell has been cast off. This is a massive story episode. And I was just like, all right, guys, uh, let's go here and see what happens. Accidentally stumbles into like an actual sequence of just so much lore. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> you know, that meme where you see Neil Arms, uh, um, Neil, I almost said Neil Armstrong mixing two different words there, two different names, Neil deGrasse Tyson where he's like going, <laughs> it's like that. I was like, that's, that's me absorbing all of the knowledge of this game. The mark of the worm you bear, is it change you seek or to save this ruin? That choice is yours. Always the smallest creatures that attempts the largest things. Yes, I am but a hobbit knight. Um, wow. Age of, uh, what is it? An age of dark ending or i guess in this game there'd also be an age of light ending age of light or age of dark ending because there's no fire Billy Bob. this falling ash is malt the worm's corpse decaying endless mm, serene sad with its like gone the world is smaller Really cool that we were navigating the area to the Hornet boss fight. And I'm like looking at this. And I'm like, look at all these like bones and all of this shit. I'm like, there's multiple giant enemies or something like bugs or beasts around here. And I'm like, is it just one? I'm like, is it just multiple? And then you get down to the bottom and you're like, it's just one. It's just one big old worm king. Billy Bob. Don't mistake. I am not a worm or I'm too small. I am too many limbs. No foresight like those old things. I love the concept of the king being a giant ancient worm creature, or at least was. For quiet retreat did I climb up here, away from spitting creatures. Mm, yes, high up, away from simple minds lost to light. Theirs is a different kind of unity, rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure, union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone, a bug is reduced. Mm. Be on your way then? It's rest I'll return to, though in these times sleep oft proves uneasy. Cool. Where was the tail? Oh, I can you can see it. You can see it in the back. All right, all I have to say about this is, here's the thing. The king, giant ass worm. This guy, giant ass worm like creature in the same area of the worm, potentially playing dumb about me. I'm not a worm. 
and mentions that the king perhaps was transformed. Ah, Dune. Why do I feel like you were the king and now you just have, like, casted off your responsibility and now you're just hiding up here? So close to the corpse of the worm. I don't know. It's it seems like a classic Mr. Act. Like, Me? I am but a big bumbling thing up here. I am fine. I am nothing. But you know a lot. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Also, a creature powerful enough or at least phys- uh, psychically in tune enough to know that it's being prodded with the dream nail like the seer knows. There's definitely more going on with uh, with that than we're being told. It seems kind of obvious, but that that again could be a misdirect on a, on a misdirect. Who knows? They're always going to keep me guessing. God, it's so obvious. This bug creature now, because look, you just see it in the background. I didn't even wasn't even paying attention, and now I'm just like, God, I can see it everywhere. Because um, where's the tail? Where was the tail? I'm still seeing it in the background a little bit. Now it's gone. But I think the tail was... Um... Here? Yeah. <laughs> Very big. Very big creature. I don't know. There's a couple of things that are very much not what they seem. Um, you know? They're not what they seem in, in the world of Hollow Knight. And one of those was that we've been like talking about very, very early on was the fact that Quirrell wears one of the masks of the dreamers which is also the only one that we haven't checked out yet which is this one because it's this mask off that way oh i wonder how much our dialogue with characters might change as well now there's there's so much that just keeps consistently changing in this game world every time i make like a, a big choice or something ha- or something big happens i'm like well now are the characters going to respond to the fact that I bear the mark of the king, you know? Like, if I go and talk to, um, like, the elder bug of all people, like, is elder bug going to be like, what the? Oh, <gasps> whoa, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Tico. Tiso. Why? No, this is the... Oh, shit. This is... I right. This is the where all the corpses get fucking thrown. Tiso got thrown down from the Colosseum of Fools. No way. For some reason, I was expecting Tiso to be, like, the final boss of the third round. Because he, he's been like, I'm going to fight. I'm going there. And we've been following him around and he finally gets there. And he was like teasing us with like his shield that is like, you know, if I, I hope I don't have to use it against you. I was fully expecting a fight against Tiso. And he just, he just entered the Colosseum on his own and, um, and perished. That's sad. I recognized his uh, his corpse immediately. I'm like, wait a goddamn minute! Wow. Okay. Interesting. Also, a thing that really like fucks me up in this game is um, there's so much that just happens. Oh shit! I thought I was safe there. There's so much that just happens. Um, in in the world in a in a very subtle way. Um, 
Now you're just walking through an area and you're like, oh shit, this wasn't here before. And it's and it's so subtle. It's so like easily missable. And it's driving me crazy thinking about thinking about all the stuff that we have missed, you know, because now I'm going, oh shit, you know, there's all this other stuff that we could have potentially missed that I want to know about now. And I guess that's just the nature of things when you're just kind of winging it and seeing how you go, but incredible either way. Cool stuff. See, that's the thing. There are so many pathways that are accessible with the Monarch Wings now um, that I am not even aware that I've missed. It was just a segment of us going through Kingdom's Edge and being like, wait, that ledge looks a little too out of reach. I'm going to go check that out. No mention of the... No, okay. No mention of the kingly sigil branded upon me somewhere. Okay. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Oh, come on, yeah. I'm just the... I'm just apparently the king of Hallowness now, everyone. Just... just so you know. That's so crazy. Really? What does this person think again? Interesting. Yeah, I've already read that dialogue. Um, absolutely insane. I think with the sheer amount that we have <laughs> uncovered and experienced this episode, which was not expected to happen at all, I was just like, yeah, we're just going to see what we can find now. We end up finding one of the best abilities that I've uh, been waiting for for the longest time. Uh, which makes me so happy. Um, and we also have discovered so much of that sweet, sweet lore that I am so happy about. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as well, because it's it's been big. Uh, we discovered the Stag's Nest. We took out another Dreamer. We had a Hollow Knight uh, Hornet battle. And I keep going to say Hollow Knight. And I'm like, we're not the Hollow Knight. <laughs> we're the king. Because we met the... We waltzed right into the worm shell and got branded. I don't even know what to tell you. I can't even tell what is going to happen after we go and take out this third dreamer as well. This game is crazy. And that's a good thing. <laughs> it's blowing my mind constantly. Uh, we will continue to explore some new pathways that we can check out with um, our Monarch Wings. Um, I, I'm looking at a bunch of like places like this that look like I might be able to actually get to them now, which will be great. And we'll also potentially wander in to this area next time as well. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Hollow Knight. I have certainly enjoyed it and I hope you have too. And I will see you next time.